Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to share some interesting facts about Yeti crab. Keep watching and don't forget to click the bell icon. The very first species, Kiwa hirsuta, was only discovered in 2005 on a hydrothermal vent near Easter Island. Despite its reduced eyes and blind sight, the Yeti crab nevertheless has several unique adaptations to survive the harsh biome of the cold and desolate deep sea floor. Because it can only be reached by deep sea submarine, however, there is still a lot we don't understand about it. Three incredible Yeti crab facts. Number one. One of the more interesting facts is that Yeti crabs pile on top of each other to stay warm near hydrothermal vents. One scientist counted some 700 crabs per square meter. Number two. A genetic analysis suggests that the Yeti crab family first evolved some 30 million years ago, when their ancestors first colonized hydrothermal vent biomes. Number 3. Because it lives deep in the water, the Yeti crab has no need of color pigments, making it appear white or gray. Yeti crab classification and scientific name. The scientific name for the family of Yeti crabs is Kiwa. It is named after the goddess of shellfish in Polynesian mythology. The Yeti is not considered to be a member of the true crabs, but rather a closely related group called the squat lobsters, which includes the hermit crabs. More widely, they belong to the decapod order. Appearance of Yeti crab The Yeti crab is characterized by a generally crab-like shape, the hard shell, the long appendages, and big claws, but it also looks very much like the mythical snowman for which it was named. The defining features are the compact, all-white body, measuring about 6 inches long, and the long bristly claws that enable them to harvest bacteria. As mentioned previously, some have hairy chests in addition to or in place of the hairy claws. Because of its highly reduced eyes, it is thought to be completely or mostly blind. Distribution, Population, and Habitat The Yeti crab is largely endemic to the cold habitats of the southern Pacific Ocean region, adjoining the waters of the Antarctic. The hydrothermal vents near which they live are essentially cracks in the deep sea floor where mineral-rich scalding hot water escapes from the surface of the earth. While they are highly adapted for this habitat, survival here requires a very careful balance. If they stray too far from the vents, then they can freeze to death in the frigid sea. But if they wander too close, then they can overheat and die. The best-known Yeti crab, Kiwa hirsuta, is presumed to be quite common near hydrothermal vents of the Southern Pacific, but because there isn't enough data available about them, the IUCN Red List has never assessed the conservation status for any of the five known species. Yeti crab predators and prey. Life near the hydrothermal vent is different from almost anywhere else on the planet. Organisms cannot rely on sunlight to capture energy, so they convert energy directly from the chemical flowing from the vents. The Yeti crab's role in this complex ecosystem is not yet fully understood, but we do know that it feeds on the bacteria flowing from the surface. Reproduction and lifespan. The reproductive behavior and the lifespan of these crabs still remain a complete mystery. It's believed that the hydrothermal vents are too warm for the larva to develop, so the female probably lays eggs in the colder waters. Very few other facts are known. Yeti crab in fishing and cooking. Because of its remote environment, these crabs are not used in cooking or fishing. Since no one has tried to taste it, we don't know how edible it is. That was all about Yeti crab. Do you like the facts we shared? Let us know on comment section. We hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.